Hey, welcome to the Classic Conservative. I'm your host, Lisa Moore, and today we've got a bunch of hot topics we're going to go over real quick. People have said, you know, conservatives have said, well, I'm not listening to conservative talk show host Rush Limbaugh anymore. And I basically have joined their ranks simply because every day he has enabled a man, Donald Trump, who basically does not convey any conservative principles in his platform. And even if he did, he goes back on them every time you turn around. But that's not why I'm here to talk about Rush today. Today, Rush said that real women support Trump. Real women. In the past, I've understood what he meant when he was trying to defend himself against people, critics who said that Rush himself was misogynist and didn't have respect for women. Each day that goes by, you see another way that Rush Limbaugh is like Donald Trump. How many times has Rush Limbaugh been married? I remember as a supporter when there were some issues with Rush and drug abuse. And I remember how his supporters stood behind him and, you know, basically carried him through that part of his life. Because basically, as conservatives, we can be forgiving. But what we are seeing here is a pattern. We are seeing two and two turn into four, because two and two does equal four. In other words, Rush is Trump. Rush thinks that because he's brazen, because he says what he wants and does what he wants, that he's cool because basically Rush has lived his life the same way he has. We have believed, I mean, I've listened to this man since 91. It's a long time. And I garnered all this respect for this man. But to tell me that I'm not a real woman because I don't like the things that Donald Trump says about women and the way he's acted around women, that makes me just too much of a, a wuss and I'm not a real woman. Rush, I can't take it anymore. So this is goodbye. This is goodbye, and I hope that your listeners see through what you're doing. Then today, we have news that Donald Trump is saying that he wants to change the GOP to the Workers' Party. Nobody has anything against workers, and workers should get fair and honest pay for their time and their wages. But that's not gonna happen under Donald Trump. Donald Trump does what is best for Donald Trump. He does not do what is best for us as a nation. It has also been said that Donald Trump has reached the amount of delegates needed to cinch the nomination. We've gone through the election process, but it's not over. It is not over. The primaries and stuff are not over. The convention is not over. It's not a fait accompli. And if you look at history, history will show you that sometimes the party doesn't go lockstep with what's going on around it. Some would say that's a very good thing. 
anyway, I love you joining me here on the show. Hopefully we'll be back on radio soon. But for here, you know, we're going to do just some audio video tidbits just because the news has got to be talked about. And as classic conservatives, we know who we are and we know what we need this country, what's been proven in this country. So I'll see you next time here on the Classic Conservative.